Good day, my friends. Welcome to my workshop. Uh, today I was going to try to cover uh, construction of the idler wheels and some of the aluminum casting that I'm currently doing for the uh, Tiger that you see behind me here. Uh, before I get started, I'd like to give a special thanks and a mention to ScaleTanks.com. The administrator for that fine site is uh, Don, who goes by the name Arcane, and also Dave Manson, of course, everybody's probably familiar with Dave. Um, master builder, great guy. Uh, anyway, uh, if you get an opportunity, visit that site. There's a plethora of information there and some really, really outstanding talent. So uh, without further ado, uh, what I'm basically going to try to do is today take this uh, mock-up styrofoam uh, constructed idler wheel. Um, as you can see right now, it's just basically a styrene styrofoam. Uh, basically, I use a uh, a styrofoam cutter, which is basically a soldering iron with a needle on the end of it. Uh, you can get it at any hobby shop uh, and construct different components and then basically take a Elmer's glue and assemble it off of a uh, template or blueprint. Uh, the two inch, two and a quarter inch OD uh, exhaust pipe I use is to make sure that I get an absolute smooth hole uh, when the casting is completed and uh, makes minimal uh, effort as far as milling for the uh, bearing phase. So basically we're going to try to turn this into this. Um, this is what they look like uh, or this particular one looks like after I've had some machining with it and a, ton, a chance to clean it up. Uh, basically any of these components that uh, I'm showing you right now can be uh, uh, fabricated with styrofoam, uh, then put in a sanding cast. Uh, I use a green sand that you can purchase off eBay. It's not that expensive. Uh, it's really easy to use and uh, with proper precautions, uh, it's very safe. So uh, I'll give you a tour of uh, what components I have and how I'm going to utilize them and uh, we'll see how it goes from there. Okay, buds, right here you can see the aluminum starting to melt. Uh, it's rather hot down in the bottom of this, but you can see the flames tickling off to the side. And this is the forge assembly that I have, or pardon me, the smelter assembly I have. Uh, so we'll uh, melt that up, get a nice little puddle going, and then uh, we'll take some of this scrap stuff I have here. There's a couple of steering knuckles from Ford, and piston, aluminum rim. And uh, that's what I use, so uh, we'll let that get melted up real good, and uh, we'll follow up after that. Okay, here you can see I'm currently uh, taking what is left of one of my aluminum mag rims and uh, subsequently melting it down into a pourable content. So uh, it won't be much longer, and uh, we'll see what we can come up with. As you can see, I have packed the bottom of it, the idler wheel, with sand, with uh, green sand. And there's the bucket. I've just got done sifting with it. And what I'm going to do is take that cardboard uh, lid, place on here to keep the sand from falling out, and then I'm going to slide it onto this piece of steel that I've got set up on the floor. Okay, buds, here's my sand box. And you can see right in here where the rear idler wheel is partially buried. I didn't cover it completely in sand because I wanted to make it a very uh, distinct point to make here. When you're getting ready to do your casting, make sure that you pack your sand intensely around these intricate parts, specifically where the spokes are. Uh, you need to get that tight because if you don't, you'll get a uh, rough casting and it's more machine time. Uh, also around the edging here, uh, you can't see it, but uh, where the two rims actually are uh, mated together, uh, make sure that you actually pack those very tightly this way. You want to make sure you got a good tight pack, but you don't want it so much that it deforms the styrofoam. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and finish up um, 
covering this section up here and then I'll show you the uh, vent holes that I'm going and the pour hole that I'm going to uh, use in this casting. Okay, as you can see, I have three bars in here. Two of them are vent holes, and one of them will be the pour hole. You can see I've packed this down as tight as I can get it packed without hopefully distorting the aluminum. So we'll work this out here. be one of the vent holes. leave us a little nice casting. Okay, here we go. And four. Four, four, four. Hold breath. Four. Four, four, four. Down to fire. Keep pulling. Four, four, four. It's going to be good. Keep pouring. Keep pouring. Yeah, I hope I had enough aluminum. Because we just ran out. <laughs> okay, folks, this is what it looks like after we got it poured. We was concerned about whether or not we was going to have enough aluminum. But you can see right down there in those two vent ports that the uh, aluminum started to come up the hole. So I think we're good on aluminum. Uh, this one seemed to pour a little better than the last one, but... Uh, We'll let that cool off for a couple hours and we'll come out and dig it up and see how it looks. Okay, bud. As you can see, I've removed most of the sand from the box where the casting has been made. As you can see, it's round. And it is still fairly hot and I've let it set for a couple hours. Uh, Anyway, as you can see, it turned out pretty good, all things considered. Oh yeah, it looks really nice. That, uh, it'll have to be cleaned up. Of course, I'll have to smack all the sand out of it and press that center cap or that uh, exhaust pipe out of there so I can have a uh, smooth surface to mill out the center for my bearings. But, uh, well, it uh, actually it turned out a lot better than the other one. It uh, a lot less casting or a lot less machining will have to be done with this one. It, it turned out really nice. I'm impressed. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I hope it was informative. Uh, I will be casting another piece of aluminum, not quite this big, at a later date, but it'll be the muzzle brake for the uh, 88 millimeter gun. Um, so, uh, stay tuned, and, uh, we'll try to, uh, see if we can't come up with some, uh, better, uh, forgings later. Catch you later. Oh, and if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them for me, and I'll try to answer them for you.